Golf's return to the Olympics in Rio this week has exposed some serious fault lines in the sport. Some leading professionals clearly feel that the games are a sideshow and of little value in comparison with the traditional majors. Rory McIlroy's straight talking on the subject was welcomed by some, but one of golf's greats thinks the bigger picture is being missed. We need golf to be in the Olympic Games. We need these players to be promoting it in these smaller countries. And so many of, work, of us worked so hard to get the game back in the Olympics. Forget about the pros in the Olympics as far as golf is concerned. Replace them with amateurs who will high, hold it in high esteem. Golf's governing bodies remain united in support of the sport's top pros taking part in the Olympics. For them, it's about safeguarding the future of the game around the world. We're big proponents of the Olympics, uh, as we have been for years now, and it will certainly have an impact here in the United States and in other areas of the world. But I, we feel that its most profound impact will be on countries that are developing the game and looking to grow the game and using the power of the Olympics and government dollars and subsidy dollars to bring, to bring energy into the game. Oh, it's terrific, and especially for the smaller countries in golfing terms. It was those countries that uh, persuaded us, if you like, to, to put golf's credentials forward to the IOC. And they said, look, if, if golf can be in the Olympics, it'll increase exposure for the game in our country, it'll increase government support and financial support, and we're already seeing that even before the Games. While some of the leading men have decided to take a rest during Olympic week or blamed the Zika virus for their absence, others are fully committed to taking on the challenge of the stunning new Olympic course in Rio. I see it as an incredible opportunity to do something different, something cool, something that will always stand alone. I mean, um, I said the other day that if my career one day read Justin Rose, multiple major champion, because I'm still gunning for a few more of those, but yeah, multiple major champion and an Olympic gold medalist, I mean, I think that's how it will read. It's got that sort of and, you know, it's something, it's, it's in its own little bracket, it's a niche, a niche achievement, and um, obviously something I'm very excited about. It's up there with a the major for me. I think um, growing up as a kid, you always watch the Olympic Games, you watch the guys like Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, Michael Johnson, all these kind of guys competing and showing that pride and that, uh, that love for their country. I've always uh, strapped on the green and gold with some tremendous pride and honour, um, even from, from my amateur days when I represented South Africa. So to do it at the Olympic Games in Rio is going to be incredible. There are no divisions apparent in the women's game, with the leading players fully aware that this is an opportunity to showcase their talents to a massive new audience. You can do it to represent your country, be there amongst the other athletes that are representing your country, I think is, is going to be very special. Just to be a part of it and to, to be around those athletes and to kind of rub elbows with them and see them train and see what they do, um, you know, I think it's amazing what they do. Only have one opportunity every four years to win an Olympic medal and that's a lot of pressure and I'm excited to see what that pressure feels like. To compete for a medal in the Olympic is, gosh, it doesn't really get any bigger. Um, you compete with the biggest values in this game of sports and um, you're at the highest level and like I said, it's a dream come true. While the majors remain golf's biggest prize, there will always be questions about the sport's place at the Olympics. But Rio is clearly a chance for the game to reach out to a new audience. Let's hope the competition lives up to expectations.